To this, according to a new study, the Stockton Airport is the least reliable in the nation. But as ABC 10's Gabriel Porras found out today, not everyone agrees. Wheels are in the air and it's off to Arizona for this group of passengers at the Stockton Metropolitan Airport. While there were no delays, a study analyzing U.S. Department of Transportation data on cancellations and diversions found Stockton's airport is one of the least reliable in the nation. They seem to be cherry picking some numbers. Airport director Richard Sokol disagrees with the results released this week by private jet charter company Jet Li. Passengers we spoke with felt the same way. I don't believe that. I believe when you get to Phoenix, then they're not reliable. Roseville resident Gina had no problems Friday when she decided to pass up SMF and use Stockton's airport to get to family in Phoenix one of two destinations out of Stockton through Allegiant Airlines. I was amazed that um, it's so quiet in here. There's no big lines. Feels very clean and safe. There are still a few more hours until the next flight departs the Stockton Airport, but for people who travel regularly, this site is pretty rare. Empty security lines and no wait at the ticket counter either. Less driving, less waiting, more vacation. The airport is undergoing millions of dollars in repairs funded by the FAA with the goal of getting more people to their vacation spots and expanding in the future. We're improving taxiways, pavements, changing some orientation of some of our taxiways. Richard says an even larger improvement plan to renovate passenger terminals in the aviation environment is under development. With repairs underway and in the planning stage, airport officials hope the runways in Stockton will give passengers a dose of calmness amid the busy holiday travel season. I'm happy going out of the Stockton airport, so, and I'm scared to fly, but it's okay with me now. We are very uh, optimistic about some changes, positive changes that will happen here uh, in the middle of next year. Airport officials tell us they hope to announce the new edition of flights next spring.